Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make these two keto mug cakes, chocolate and peanut butter. Hey friends, today we're gonna to make these keto mug cakes. Uh, they're super easy, of course, like all of my recipes. We make them in the microwave. The first one I'm gonna start with is peanut butter. So I've got a ramekin here with a tablespoon of melted butter and I'm just swirling it around the outside of the ramekin. And so now we can put in our dry ingredients, which is almond flour some baking powder and sweetener. So this recipe is based off of my keto uh, chocolate mug cake, the chocolate version, well, or the vanilla version. And so for the peanut butter, we're just gonna add in a tablespoon of peanut butter. So we mix all the dry and now we can add in a beaten egg and some vanilla. Now I must say that this is probably the best keto mug cake there is. I'm not just saying that because it's mine, but everybody tells me that this is the best one they've ever made and they've made several. So you really should check out this recipe. We're gonna mix all of our wet and dry ingredients together in our ramekin. Okay, now for the peanut butter, we've got a tablespoon of peanut butter and I'm just gonna drop it in the center and just kind of swirl it around a little bit if you can. It's kind of, just mush it up a little bit. You wanna leave it kind of pretty whole so it's nice and peanut buttery in there. If you don't wanna use peanut butter, you could use powdered peanut butter because I know that peanut butter has a lot of calories. One tablespoon's like, I don't know, 120 calories. The mug cake is already pretty calorie dense. So this is gonna be a very hefty snack or you could split it with somebody. But this is going to go into the microwave for one minute. Okay, before I show you the peanut butter one, let's make the chocolate. So we've got the ramekin again. So let's mix up the dry ingredients, almond flour, sweetener, baking powder, and this one uses cocoa powder. So we're gonna add that in with the dry ingredients. Let's stir that up a little bit. Now we can add in our beaten egg, the vanilla. All right, and now I'm going to put some chocolate chips on top. And this is ready for the microwave, 60 seconds. Okay, here are our two mug cakes out of the microwave. They look amazing. On the peanut butter one, I'm gonna put a little bit of Choc Zero syrup, chocolate syrup. So let's dig into this one and see how amazing it looks. Looks really, oh, looks so good and fluffy. Look at that. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That has really good peanut butter flavor. And the chocolate one, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna pour a little bit of heavy cream on it. You could whip the heavy cream, but I'm too lazy to do that. Just a tablespoon. So let's dig into the center of it. And I know this one's good. Look at that. With the heavy cream. Mm. So good. Guys, make sure you check out these other keto dessert recipes and I will see you guys later. Bye.